Hello, this is Dr. Frost. Just before we begin, just to know that you can practice questions interactively on this topic, including past paper questions, just by going to www.drfrostmaths.com slash homework. Feel free to pause the video at any time, whether just to digest the new material or whether to do one of the test your understanding questions that I'll be setting you throughout the video. Now let's begin. Now what we've seen so far is when we have right angle triangles and we know one the sides and one the angles and we want to find um, another side. But what if in fact we had, uh, we actually knew two of the sides, so we knew that this was say three and we knew that this was four and we want actually want to find this unknown angle. As again when I have an unknown angle I'm just going to use the Greek letter theta for that. Um, so what do we do now? Well it's important to emphasize this. In fact, we, we use exactly the same principles as we did before, exactly the same method. It's just that we have an extra step at the end that we'll have to do. So let's do exactly what we did before. We're going to label the sides first. So this is opposite that angle. So let's bend it away in a circle. That is adjacent to that side. So that is the adjacent. Uh, and then think socad toa, toa, OA. So we're going to use tan. So we write exactly what we did before, tan of the angle, in which in this case is theta, is equal to the opposite, which is 3, over the adjacent, which is 4. So we're writing exactly what we did before. The only difference now is that before we had an unknown here, um, and we knew the angle, this time all these numbers are known, we don't know this variable here. So how are we going to find this theta? Well, it's a bit like a change in the subject problem. We're going to think, well, how I want to get that theta on its own so that I've solved it. But I've got this tan on the front. I want to undo the tan. Now, we don't divide by tan. Tan's not some kind of quantity that we can divide by. It's a function, um, which we'll learn about elsewhere in GCC. Um, and we know that if we want to get rid of something, we have to do the opposite. So what is the opposite of tan? Well, there's actually a special function on our calculator called, well, it's inverse tan. And on your calculator, you'll see above the tan key, there is um, a tan to the minus one. Uh, the minus one just means you're doing the reverse up function. You'll see later when you do functions, you'll have f to the minus one, it looks like, and that means inverse function. So we're going to do inverse tan of both sides, and that's going to get rid of the tan inverse tan of both sides. So if I do inverse tan of this, it cancels out the tan. We get this theta. And then we need to do inverse tan of that. So we have tan to the minus 1 of 3 over 4. Again, don't worry about how your calculator does this. It's quite complicated and you don't learn about it till uh, A level, how it actually works these things out. So let's do shift tan of 3. We can either do divided by 4 with a divide symbol or we can do it as a fraction. 3 over 4, press equals, and that's going to give us 36.9 degrees, correct to 3 significant figures. And again, we always do a kind of sensible check. Um, is our answer sensible? Uh, well, let's look at here. That side's shorter than that. Uh, yeah, 36.9, 37 degrees, that looks about right, doesn't it? So well, our answer is probably right. So let's do just the second one, just to cement that. Um, I'm going to give you another triangle. Do it another angle. Uh, and we don't know this angle. And we are going to make these lengths, let's say that's 10. And let's say that side is 3 here. Uh, yeah, 3 will do. And I'm going to find this angle here. Um, again, in fact, no, I'm not going to label that one. I'm going to make give you this one here. So let's call this 12. And we want to find this angle here. So what do we do? Again, we label the sides. That's the opposite. That's the hypotenuse. And we think, what do we want? So, katoa. So, so. Um, so we're going to write sine of the angle is equal to the opposite, which we know, um, which is 10 over the hypotenuse, which is 12. And again, the inverse, to get rid of that sine in front of the theta, we do inverse sine of both sides. So I'm going to do that, inverse sine. So that gives me theta is inverse sine of 10 over 12. I just plug it into my calculator. So inverse shift sine um, of 10 over 12. Close the brackets. And that gives me 56.4 degrees. 
to three significant figures. And again, we do a sensible check. Does that look right? Well, yes, it kind of looks more than 45 degrees. That looks like it's going to be sensible. Now let's do a, a test your understanding question so you can pause the video when I've written this. Test your understanding. Once again, running out of paper here. So I'm going to give you this triangle here. Very similar to the one I did before. And I'm going to give, I want you to find this angle here. And I'm going to give you this time, I'm going to give you this side, which I'm going to say is three. And I'm going to give you this side, which is, let's say, uh, I don't know, seven. So you might want to pause the video and have a quick go at that. Right, hopefully you've had some time. So let's label these sides. That is the adjacent. That is the hypotenuse, so so ka, so it's going to be cos. So we're going to do cos of the angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Then we do inverse cos of both sides. So theta is inverse cos of 3 over 7. And we do use our calculator again. Um, so shift cos of 3 over 7. And that's going to give me 64.6 degrees. Does that look sensible? Yes, it does look sensible. So it's probably right. Uh, so well done if you got that right.